Hey Glam Fam, Linwood here, and today we're going to be talking about something slightly different. Since I started doing these videos, I talked to an abundance of different people, both stylists, cosmetology students, clients, who have of course had salon experience in one way or another. And I feel like there's a number of different things that I need to address in this industry from a more foundational level. Now, before I go into this, this is not to try to trash anyone or to try to take away from anyone, but this is so we can get better as a whole because honestly I feel like there are so many simple issues that are going on that are not really allowing for us to grow better as cosmetologists, as individuals, things like that. I've heard from a number of different, let me take this out, I live with this in my ear. I've heard from a number of different people in terms of their experience but with me being an educator not only in this online space but also in terms of in cosmetology schools uh, because I am a licensed cosmetology instructor as well, I've seen a number of various issues from many different professionals so let me first tackle some of the issues that I have with cosmetology school well I feel like it's very necessary because you must go through some degree of understanding of diseases disorders sanitation and how to uh, stop the spread of disease how to stop the risk of your clients getting infections at your hand or the risk of you getting an infection from your client it's important that you have that information it's also important that you know the warning signs for things like cancer and things like that because that's all stuff that's taught in cosmetology school. Unfortunately for a lot of people that portion is glazed over and they never look at it again or even think about it once they leave school and it's something that requires a lot more diligence and care. I literally have a client who I spotted a uh, area in her head that looked abnormal to me, told her she needed to go see a doctor and it was skin cancer in her scalp which to be quite honest with you when's the last time you went to the doctor and they were looking at your scalp? It just doesn't happen. It's a responsibility that we have as cosmetologists to alert our clients if something seems off or wrong and that way they can seek the medical attention that is necessary. It's part of our education, but that's neither here nor there. The massive issue that I have with cosmetology school as a whole is it does not adequately prepare us for this industry. And this is not to say that it can't get better because it can, but it is to say that as cosmetology instructors, we're going to have to put in more work and as cosmetology students if you want to be successful at this you're gonna to have to be better than just saying well they didn't teach me that you're going to have to go out of your way to ask them for added information to ask them and put the pressure on them to actually teach you and just remember that you as a student are spending anywhere depending on your area anywhere between six thousand dollars and fifty thousand dollars and up for a cosmetology education that's not even including the testing and licensing fees and does not guarantee you your license. So this is a massive amount of money that you'd be spending just here stateside for a nine month program in most instances. And if you leave out of there feeling like you didn't really get what you needed for this industry, you spent all that money to then get into debt because you're not building clientele. I feel like this industry is lacking a lot of successful stylists and it's not because they're not good at what they do, but it's because at no point were they really taught about marketing, at no point were they really taught about social media marketing, about building a portfolio in modern day, about marketing tips and things like that beyond newspaper ads and incredibly expensive ads on the television which really aren't as effective anymore or radio ads which generally aren't that effective anymore. It's one thing to know how to do hair. It's another thing entirely to not know how to market and I see so many different areas where people are literally asking me if I know someone in Chicago, if I know someone in North Carolina, if I know someone somewhere else and I'm certain there are people who are excellent in that area and they simply don't know how to market and these people are asking me, someone who is literally across the country, about someone in their city. That tells me that people are not marketing well in that area. Another issue that I have with cosmetology school in general is the fact that it is very one-dimensional. I see a lot of schools that don't teach anything about black hair or kinky or coily hair, natural hair, anything like that beyond how to manipulate it straight. They're teaching you how to relax hair, they're teaching you how to press hair, but they're not teaching you how to actually care for it. They're not teaching you how to identify the differences in hair texture, porosity, how this hair is going to act. And the sad thing is, it's because a lot of these instructors are not comfortable, they were not taught, they have minimal experience in it, and they genuinely do not know. However, that is not an excuse. 
as instructors, it is our job to teach. And in order to teach, you have to constantly be renewing your education. You cannot afford to get comfortable in this industry, especially when you are the one who is uh, supposed to be teaching them after they've paid however many thousands of dollars to be there. And even if they're in a high school program where they didn't pay however many thousands of dollars, just keep in mind, if that student or those students as a whole are not getting a full education in cosmetology or proper education in cosmetology and the bare minimum basics across the spectrum, that is a poor reflection on you as an instructor. It just is what it is. And this is not to beat you up. This is to try to help you see the importance of learning hair textures beyond those straight haired mannequins with this one hair type. It's one thing to know how to do one hair type, but you're going to have people who come in who are Asian. You're going to have people who come in who are mixed. You're going to have people who come in who are black and their hair is not going to look like that straight haired Catherine mannequin or Sam or whatever other mannequin you've got. And it's honestly not going to look like that kinky mannequin that you have that after you shampoo, it looks like a, a Michael Jackson perm at the best. Like, there's just a certain amount of education that has to come with this. It's something where I would love to see more schools teaching things with textured hair, possibly even the basis and the basics of hair extension so stylists can stop taking out hair from doing that incorrectly because there's no education there. So literally, you've got stylists who have gone through school to then use a kitchen education, something that they learned that's been passed down from another person who was ill-prepared, ill-informed, and is showing them how to do something and it's being done incorrectly because no one at any time with an actual education in it has taught them how to do that. Another issue that I have with cosmetology school, not trying to be super ranty but it is what it is, is that I see so many different people that are going through cosmetology school and the focus is so heavy on passing that state board test that they have no clue how to function out here in this space and that state board test is a fraction and I mean a minute, small, minuscule fraction of what you need to be successful in this industry. You don't have to be the absolute best stylist but you do have to know how to do what you do and just teaching people finger waves, pin curls, roller sets, perms, like the stuff that you need for a state board test is simply not enough. You've got to be able to stay current and be able to find, okay, you know, if I'm gonna teach you the basics, which are necessary, I need to find a way to tie that into current trends, current understanding, so you can understand that you can take these basics and transform them into what you need. You can take these basics and add new technique, but you still have to have foundational principles of knowledge to build on. So if I don't at least point you in the direction or facilitate your learning in an actual way, you're not going to see benefit. And I can't stand the fact I see so many instructors are like, well, I taught on that. Mentioning something one or two times is not teaching on that. It's mentioning it. There's a difference. When it comes down to teaching in any industry, I have a two-year-old daughter. Do you think I told her her ABCs twice and then said, okay, well, you look it up and facilitate your own learning. You're going to have to learn your ABCs. No, we go through that daily, multiple times a day. It's a regular routine for her. It's something that's like a mantra for for her. She's singing it non-stop. There's songs for it. She has resources to help her learn it. They reinstill that at preschool. When she gets to school, they're going to be reinstilling that. Why? Because it's a foundationary principle that needs to be built on. Why am I not seeing that in cosmetology school with braiding? Because regardless of your culture, braiding is a foundational principle. If you do updos on straight hair, that's a foundational principle. Braiding is huge. If you do extensions, braiding is huge. If you do natural hair, Braiding is huge. If you do black hair in general, braiding is huge. Like, it's a cultural style that crosses all boundaries of culture and all boundaries of ethnicity. Everyone uses it. So why is it not being taught better in cosmetology school? It's crazy to me that these are the type of things I'm seeing. And then we wonder why it is that you see so many different people that are calling for uh, our industry to move more towards apprenticeship, which I honestly don't feel like it's the best idea because apprenticeship does not point you to proper sanitation, nor does it point you to proper education or an understanding of the hair, the skin, and the nails at a foundational uh, principle that deals with the histology and the anatomy and physiology of those features so you can understand what it should look like and how to get it where it needs to go and when it's out of your spectrum and your field of abilities and it needs to be referred to a doctor or specialist.
I don't want to fuss about this stuff, but this is something that is a massive issue in this industry and I hate the fact that as someone who is so passionate about hair, as someone who is so passionate about the beauty industry, that I see so many people that are half stepping and you guys know, it's baby, like it, this is about more than just a bad hairstylist. This is about a flawed system that I'm seeing on a massive scale. Now this is not to say that every cosmetology score, every program is the same, but this is to say that a vast majority of cosmetology schools are offering this type of education. And I see it at every continuing education class I've been to where there's always a massive amount of stylists who are totally unaware of certain techniques, of certain principles, of certain foundations, but they've been doing hair for 10 plus years. I don't understand that. And then the sad thing is when I see schools where they are teaching black hair, then a lot of times they don't understand color. They don't know how to do hair color. They don't understand their color wheel. They don't understand what neutralizes what, what two things mix together. They don't know their primary colors, their secondary colors, their tertiary colors, much less how to mix them. They don't understand their developers or their lighteners. They just don't get it. I'm tired of seeing black hairstylists who only know how to do black, brown, and dark red. And I'm tired of seeing white hairstylists, and this is not to point out races, this is why I'm doing the quotations, because these are the things that are being said in this industry by not only stylists, but also clients, because clients have learned that there's a dividing line where they're walking into salons and saying, oh, well, this is a black salon or a white salon. Um, and it's crazy because people ask me about, you know, oh, well, you're a hairstylist. Are you a natural hairstylist, a black hairstylist, a white hairstylist, an Asian hairstylist? I'm a hairstylist and I specialize in hair. I'm able to do it all. And if there's a certain service that I don't care to do or that I feel like it's not going to be best served, I do not mind recommending you to someone I feel like would better perform that service for you because honestly, it's about the general care of that customer. That's a thing that needs to be being taught in cosmetology school. It's amazing to me because as a cosmetology instructor, I hate doing nails. But guess what? I still had to teach nails. And I still not only taught nails in terms of what they needed on their test, but we taught nail art. We taught how to do acrylics. Like these are things I did not care for. To have to do freehand nails, to have to do tips, all that. I do not like it, but it's not about me. It's about the fact that I am supposed to be equipped, knowledgeable, and skilled enough to teach it. And if you are not, then you've got two options. Either continue, well, you know, actually you've got three options. Continue to suck, do something to get better, or stop doing your job and let someone who is willing to do better get in that position. I apologize for the nature of this video, but it's something that I feel like really needs to be said. I honestly don't know if it's going to impact many people, but I just feel like it's necessary. So for all of those who are cosmetology instructors or cosmetology school owners, please take this in a spirit of passion rather than me trying to rip you apart because that's really not what's going on here. But I'm also going to ask that people who are watching this video that are customers, clients, things like that, that you would leave some of the issues that you have in this industry in the comment box down below because honestly, the only way for us to grow is to get feedback and I feel like it's something that's necessary to be said and to be seen in this comment section so that way if someone genuinely wants to get better, they can go down there and read and see the massive issues that are going on in this industry that are fundamentally wrong and that need to be worked on. Until next time you guys, take care, God bless, stay glam, and you know I love you boo. And if you'd like more content like this or more educational content, please feel free to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you next time. Bye.